Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back for a short little video on a description of my next small little project. Uh, I just finished up day one of uh, two days of this project, which is a revisit to my Road to Headhunter series. Uh, if you've been following for a long time, then you may remember that. If not, there's some very old YouTube videos that you can go check out on that. Uh, regardless, we're not actually farming a full headhunter, but what we're doing here right now is using uh, a character, which is a Spark character, a Scion Spark, uh, level 88 at the moment, called Arachna Badger. Uh, and we use Spark and try to go as fast as we possibly can uh, within maps. Uh, the map that we have chosen to farm is Tower Map. Uh, well, I've got one here, but we've just finished off 100 towers here. And the first set of 100 towers, we have been farming with full Magic Find gear. If you don't know what Magic Find is, that's totally fine. I'm going to have a video out in a couple of days about this whole project uh, in much more detail. Uh, but uh, basically, we're using Spark, we're using Impulses to clear really quickly, and then just using lots of Magic Find gear uh, with 65% quantity plus 50% uh, on normal monsters with our Bisco's Collar, which is really, really nice. We are farming 100 towers in a, a short amount of time, as quick as we possibly can. And the first 100 towers with the Magic Find gear is uh, all of the all of the stuff is right here for you. And we can have a look uh, over here on X Silence Next, which is a great program. I'll put a link down below for X Silence Next if you don't know it. It's amazing, amazing to be able to check uh, kind of the average amount of currency that you have made over time, and you can choose between all your different tabs and everything like that. But within this time, we have farmed around about 2,295 chaos. Very close to 2,300 chaos. Keep in mind, this is an estimation based on poe.ninja prices. So not everything's gonna be uh, totally accurate, but it's gonna be pretty accurate. You can keep that in mind. Uh, we did drop a total of two nurses uh, over the 100 maps, so about one in 50 maps, and we dropped three exalted orbs. And we dropped uh, one full simulacrum plus 186 simulacrum splinters. Uh, 486 splinters in total, and then a couple of other stuff as well. Six divine orbs, big bunch of chaos orbs, and lots of other interesting things down here, which is uh, pretty cool. We also uh, have been timing everything with this uh, program up here, which is live split, and it took us a total of four hours and 11 minutes to get everything done, which by my rough calculations at the moment, is just shy of 600 chaos an hour uh, farming these tower maps. Tier 5 tower maps is what we were farming, which is uh, pretty fun. And tomorrow we are going to be uh, changing things up. We are not going to, be, we're still going to be doing uh, another 100 tower maps, but we're not going to be using Magic Find gear. This is kind of our budget Magic Find gear, um, around about 5 to 8 exalts, I'd say, to spend on this. But what we're actually going to be doing next time is going full headhunter, self curse, temporal chains, uh, speed farming without Magic Find. So over the 100 maps, we're going to be checking how much faster it is, uh, how much loot that we do get, and we're going to uh, quantize all of that and really see the differences between Magic Find going a little bit slower and Headhunter going super fast through maps. If you do want to come check that out tomorrow, I'm going to be starting at around about, uh, let's say around about 12 p.m. GMT. There is a link to my Twitch channel down below, so definitely go give it a follow. Uh, if you want to be notified when I do go live for that one, you can come check this out. It's going to be pretty fun. And then after the stream, we are going to be collating everything into uh, a nice sheet to be able to check everything. Uh, to finish off this video, I'm just going to give you a demonstration of this build. Uh, if you're not going to check the demonstration, then thank you so much for watching. Uh, but I am going to jump right into this map here. So basically, what we would do is uh, all of the maps were only 20% quality, and then just using an alchemy orb on them like that and running them like that. We're not juicing at all for this experiment. We're just running straight into the maps like this. We go into the maps, we try to run it as quick as possible by popping the delirium there as well. So we jump in, go as quick as we can, using shield charge, getting a couple of stacks up, starting our rampage and going straight into delirium. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I guess I'll have a bit of an FAQ right now as I'm running this, you can see the build uh, functioning. First of all, probably the big question people will ask, why are you using Spark? You know, why not an, another ability or uh, something like that? Honestly, Spark just has a really soft spot in my heart. I really, really enjoy the Spark ability. Um, I also really love the Spiders MTX, as you may be able to see here, uh, that I am using, uh, which is uh, pretty interesting and pretty fun. Um, 
but Spark, Spark is also really good in kind of narrow areas, such as uh, the corridors in tower map, and I did just miss a couple of mobs back there, but that's alright, I'm just doing this for demonstration uh, purposes. Spark loves to bounce off walls and uh, deals uh, more damage within confined spaces if you're using it this way. Um, coupled with some pretty cool cluster jewels for uh, some nice projectile speed. I will put the pace bin down below if you want to check that one out. It's pretty interesting to go and have a look at. Using uh, uh, about 50% projectile speed per cluster jewel, per medium cluster jewel, and I'm using two of those. So 100% uh, uh, projectile speed just from the cluster jewels themselves. And then we're also using faster projectiles in our links. Uh, pretty fun if you ask me. Uh, another question that I did get a couple of times during stream is why aren't you, you know, why aren't you doing a, a different map? Why aren't you doing burial chambers? Why aren't you doing, oh, and we died there. We got cast on the death portal, which is pretty nice. We'll just jump straight back in. Um, why aren't you doing uh, burial chambers, even tropical island for simulacrum splinters? Uh, honestly, I just chose a map and I went with it to do this little experiment. It's not the most efficient map to uh, do in this kind of alking and go way. Uh, a map that would probably be the best to do it with would probably be alleyways. It's probably your best bet for uh, the farming of this kind of character here. And that's it, we just do that and then we jump right back out of the map with another portal setup we've got here. And that's pretty much it guys, uh, that's the build. Um, I'll put the pace bin down below but you can have a little look here. We're using a Scion and we are going Deadeye into Elementalist and going into Path of the Witch. Uh, coming out of here just picking up a bit of crit. Uh, crit multi, a bit of life, we've got one inspired learning here and then our big large cluster jewel here with a bit of uh, cold damage uh, from lightning and some exposure and then into some uh, resistances up the top here. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching guys and until next time, Badger out.